I say probably around a week ago, maybe like two weeks ago now, one of you, maybe you, clicked that button underneath my video and became the 3,000th subscriber to my channel. And it's really cool to know that there are 3,000 people that have enjoyed my content enough to actually click that button. 3,000 subscribers means a lot to me, but what it kind of tells me, I mean, all I talk about is Newfoundland. So there's at least 3,000 people out there that are interested in watching videos about some guy talking about Newfoundland. So what I thought I'd do today is talk about some of the other channels, just creators based in Newfoundland talking about Newfoundland and different aspects. And just make sure that if you are in fact interested in Newfoundland based on liking my videos, maybe you like some of these other creators and some of their videos as well. I'm going to start off with Nerdy Nufi Food Reviews. Two buddies, Big D and Nerdy Nufi. I can't remember if they actually say their names. I've done a couple of little road trip fish and chip videos and they weren't meant to be reviews and I kind of specified that in the actual videos themselves. And one of the things that kind of came through from people that didn't enjoy those videos was like, there was no reviews. Like, how am I supposed to know if this was any good or not? These Nerdy Nufi guys are food reviewers. I don't think they're, you know, professional trained critics or anything like that, but they actually talk about the quality of the food more than I do in my videos. And they do it in a really entertaining way. They just seem like like two buddies that I'm pretty sure I saw in some of the videos. I think they're from, from Central, like Lewisport and Birchie Bay, if I'm not mistaken. And feel free to correct me, guys, if you see this and that's not right. But I think that's what you said in, in one of your videos. You're from Lewisport and Birchie Bay. Anyway, they get around the province. Fairly wide-ranging um, geographical area that they've covered from the videos that I've seen. They've been out to you know, a few places that I've been to, like Rods in Clarenville, uh, Badger Diner in Grand Falls, uh, some other places too. Off the top of my head, those ones jump out. Rosie's in Gander. I just discovered them recently, but I've gone through a bunch of their videos, and I'm not the type of guy that typically goes through food review videos, but these guys are just pretty entertaining. So check them out. The second page that I wanted to bring to your attention is from uh, a couple... Helen and Wilson, and they have a page called Discovering Newfoundland on YouTube, or a channel called Discovering Newfoundland, and I th I'm pretty sure that they're actually connected with a big Facebook group as well that I'm part of. They lean on the YouTube channel a little bit, but I feel like the Facebook page is probably a little bit bigger than the, uh, the YouTube channel. They do, it's more of a community, they do more posts than just videos on the Facebook page. But they are from, Canada, I'm not, I can't remember which province, but they're not from Newfoundland, but they moved to Newfoundland. And then they made a bunch of videos over the last couple of years, out traveling around, discovering Newfoundland, as the name says. I checked the page before making this video. It doesn't look like they're particularly active with YouTube right now, but with, you know, the winter, it's a little bit harder to get around. So hopefully that's all it is, because the videos are entertaining and pretty informative, and they definitely know what they're doing, they know the way around the camera, so you can see some pretty nice footage there. So definitely give Discovering Newfoundland on YouTube a check, and then they also, in their channel page, they have a few links to their Facebook page. The Facebook page is actually pretty useful. The next channel that I really enjoy, every time I see a video, I click on it every single time because it's uh, just beautiful, mostly drone footage, but not only drone footage, but a lot of drone footage of different towns uh, around Newfoundland, and then put together in a nice coherent way, edited well, uh, always with a musical background, but you know, sometimes they're pretty short videos and they get around to help me in some cases plan when I'm going on a road trip. Seems like these guys have been, or this guy has been on some of these trips just before I'm ready to do it, so it helps me get the lay of the land in some cases. The channel is Ridge Radio Video Promotion, and I think the creator, I think your name is David, right? Uh, <laughs> Should have probably checked that out before I hit record here today. David, um, if that's your name, cool. I, I uh, communicate with you on our comments back and forth all the time. Really appreciate your work and I really appreciate you checking out my videos and, and getting engaged with the, with the comment section and stuff. So, um, you know, really great creator for, for everybody else out there, for you guys that are looking for other creators in Newfoundland to, to see what Newfoundland looks like, particularly from above. Ridge Radio video promotion. Uh, the link, of course, is going to be down below. So go give that guy or those guys. I think sometimes there's a team involved as well. Give them a check too. They got some beautiful videos showcasing many of the coastal, small coastal communities around Newfoundland, typically from above. 
There's another creator that I feel like I've been seeing his videos on YouTube for years. It's a really small channel. I don't know how it doesn't have more subscribers and, and more views. I just, I don't know if YouTube just isn't pushing it out. But the creator is, uh, the channel is Glenn Power. It is a sort of uh, nostalgia channel, a lot of clips from old TV shows like Cod Cove and, and Wonderful Grand Band, a lot of old commercials. Like I was a kid in the 80s. I grew up, a, you know, a small kid growing up in the 80s watching a lot of TV. I could sit down and watch this guy's channel for, for hours, just let it play on, on a playlist and let it go. Um, it don't, isn't going to vibe with everybody, of course, if you're from a different generation, it might not have the same effect on you. But I got a feeling anybody around my age, maybe even a little bit younger, and then a, a older um, watchers right now, I think you'll get a kick out of Glenn Powers' channel. A lot of really nice nostalgia moments, little snippets of old TV shows. I don't know if it's just from his own library or if he hunts it down, but it's fantastic work. Glenn, fantastic work. I'm gonna step aside from YouTube for one second and talk about a creator who has a YouTube channel, but it looks like it's, and I'll leave a link to it, but it looks like it's not particularly active, but he's really active on Instagram, really, and, and he has his own webpage as well. Really, really interesting stuff. The creator is product of Newfoundland. The YouTube page, there's a, an Instagram page that seems to be a little bit more active. There's a, a website, it's product of Newfoundland. The creator's name is Robert, and I've communicated with Robert on, on Instagram, just like sharing comments on posts and things. And I believe he's from the Eastport area, Eastport Peninsula anyway. Uh, lots of really cool information, whether it is the website or the videos or the Instagram posts. There's a lot of cool information about things that like sort of hit me once in a while. Like I remember, for example, Sheila's brush. Uh, I know it's, it's coming soon, but it's kind of hard to think about Sheila's brush when the amount of snow that's on the ground right now. But I remember just, I wanted to learn a little bit about where the term Sheila's brush came from. So I Googled it and ended up finding product of Newfoundland's website. And I was connected with him on Instagram, so I knew who he was and who Robert was. But uh, I found the website and it was pretty interesting. He has really nice, well-written blog posts about topics like Sheila's Brush and lots of others as well. The YouTube channel is definitely you know, recommended because it's part of that whole um, product of Newfoundland brand. I strongly recommend following this guy on whatever platform you like to follow uh, creators on. Highly recommended for like actual nuggets of sort of folklore, Newfoundland folklore. Product of Newfoundland, all right. Now, last but definitely not least, my probably all-time favorite YouTube video was created by a, a team of young Newfoundlanders who look like they're probably, I don't know if they're from Mount Pearl, but it looks like a lot of their videos take place in Mount Pearl. Um, buys are nuts. It's Logie Bay Groovers, all right? You gotta give these guys a check. I know that their humor is gonna fly over the heads of a lot of people. Some of you watching will check the link to find out about these guys and you're going to scratch your head and, and question me <laughs> for, for certain things, but they're not everybody's cup of tea, I'm sure of it, but I can't get enough of them. When I see a Logie Bay Groovers short, most of their videos are shorts, there are some longer form ones, and they do some live streams which are really long, over an hour, but most of what I see from them is shorts, and shorts is not my favorite. Um, medium. I kind of don't like TikTok much. I do have an account. It's the same name as my YouTube page if you want to check it out, but uh, most of it is just clips from my long form videos. But I digress. Logie Bay Groovers do a lot of YouTube shorts and they're fantastic. Give them a chance. Give them a watch. If you aren't enjoying it, like I'm not surprised that if we get a lot of people that are like, what the hell is this? But I, I love it. It's the funniest thing on the internet for me. They're not gonna be for everybody, I'm sure, but they're definitely my cup of tea. So I'm adding them as the grand finale for this list because I, I hope, I hope, when you guys blow up, and I know I've been saying this in the comments of some of your videos for a while now, but when, not if you blow up, I want you to look back on this video where I do what I can to, to shout your name for everybody because I think everybody should get on board with this. I think it's one of the best things on the internet. Please remember that I said it first here on my channel that you guys are going to make a million dollars and maybe throw a little bit back my way, all right? So thank you so much to everybody who has been watching and enjoying my videos, 3,000 subs. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, but the bottom line here is if you appreciate my work, there's probably other Newfoundlanders doing some pretty cool stuff that can help you understand Newfoundland, and that's kind of what it's all about, right? So yeah, if you enjoyed this one, maybe you'll enjoy this one. I'll see you over there.